We do begin today with a special remembrance here in western New York. Sunday will mark 14 years since the tragic crash of Flight 3407 in Clarence Center. It was the deadliest disaster in western New York history. And today, the family members of those killed gathered once again at the site of the crash. Where Channel 2's Dave McKinley reports they are renewing their efforts in their continued fight for better airline safety. Well, this was not only a day of remembrance, but also a day of reminders. The remembrance involved 3407 families and first responders from the Clarence Center Fire Hall, making a one block walk to the site of the memorial that exists where the home that the plane crashed into once did. Among them was Karen Walensky, who owned that home and escaped with her daughter, but whose husband died, along with 50 other souls who were passengers and crew of the plane. Prayers were said. Flowers were lain, a wreath was placed, then back to the fire hall where inside the reminder that this anniversary falls as the FAA reauthorization bill pens and with it the concern that some may push to roll back some of the training requirements of pilots that came about as a result of the crash caused by pilot error and which the 3407 families lobbied so hard to get. But it's both remarkable and sad that we're still having to go and fight in Washington nearly 14 years later. We were in Washington just this week to remind our elected officials that there are consequences to reducing airline safety standards. The head of the airline pilots union was also a visitor here today, his first visit here in fact, and he vowed to get behind the families in their continued efforts. We'll hear more from him later on. For Most Buffalo, I'm Dave McKinley. Dave, thank you.